So today we're going to talk a little bit about the Euro, and I hope it's really interesting for you. Uh, there's just a lot of information here. Uh, so basically, uh, that was London Hi-Fi, that's their music they got here. Um, but uh, there's just a lot, lot going on with this chart. So this goes back all the way to 1994 um, and all the way up to 2022. Um, and basically wanted to look at the whole time frame so kind of give uh, myself and everyone an idea for how to trade uh, in the foreign exchange market um, but particularly with the euro because it's uh, so important um, to understand uh, precisely what's been going on um, so um, what I did is I did a volume profile for the whole uh, time period here um, and uh, I'm a little bit worried that it didn't show the volume profile down here, um, but basically um, this is the volume profile for the entire period. But you can see there's not a whole lot of trading uh, being done uh, up until about 2008. Um, and then uh, basically things took off uh, in the trading world. So at that point, um, you know, the dollar was really hurting actually relative to the euro. Um, and ever since the dollar has been kind of gaining value against the euro and almost getting to one to one uh, at this point. So it's about five cents off, four cents off uh, as of this discussion here. So I would say uh, the 2008 date is really important uh, for currency because at that point um, things really started to change. Um, so the dollar was basically since about this time, August of 2000, from 2000 to 2008, um, the dollar was losing value against the euro so it started to uh, it kind of went through a major change so right when the euro was first released uh, the dollar was losing well when it first released uh, it was losing it was gaining value and then it, and then the dollar lost value and then it went through a big huge gain in value all the way up to 2000 so that was pretty much the time where the euro was really being questioned in 2000 um, and then from there on, at this point, April 2002, let me draw another line here, vertical. So right about at this point, March, in March of 2002, all the way up to 2008, uh, it's been pretty bad for the dollar. So, and then likewise, you can see it's been, it's been kind of mixed, right? But in general, you can see that the dollar's been gaining. So if you go to a regular website and you see euro to dollar exchange rate, you can just go to Google and see what the exchange rate is. But this is the max chart. You can see it looks a little bit flatter on this. Um, but essentially, these are pretty high. This is the high that we saw in 2008, and this is the 2001 or 2000 level that we saw. So, But you can see that uh, things have kind of changed quite a lot um, over the years um, with the euro. Um, but basically you got about four cents off but that has changed about a penny it can oscillate as much as a penny a day um, which is quite a lot of money uh, so when you're trading these these are like the contract specifications for fx currency so these are the most common ones um, now they basically have the tick size here um, and basically what you do is for the micro contract which is the m slash m6e uh, that's about a tenth of these uh, contract size so basically even though the dollar is, is it turns into a dollar 25 per tick so you lose a little bit off of this but it's a lot smaller contract um, as well as a tenth of the size of the contract so I couldn't really find too many details on this um, but basically for the M6E which is the E micro euro to US dollar futures contract specifications you can see that you basically it's basically about twelve thousand um, dollars, which is quite a lot of money. But uh, you can do up to twenty five contracts, but that really depends on the broker, and then also your margin, how much you have to have in margin, um, and uh, even in cash as well. So that depends on the broker. Um, so it is really hard to appreciate how important this volume profile graph is here. Uh, if you haven't seen these before, they're super important. Uh, but basically, this is the S and P five hundred I put. Top of here, but 
you want we can hide that um, but basically the reason this is so important is it tells us a lot about the key level here with which is a dollar dollar twelve approximately so basically there was a lot of trading back in here um, and that shows that and also a lot of trading here showing that basically um, there could be a bounce back up here at any point we don't really know um, what that's going to mean um, but basically uh, the one to one level is also very philosophically important um, but this one dollar to uh, excuse me one dollar twelve cent level is also super important so I just added one more line right here in April or March March or April but basically at that point once it broke this resistance level of the uh, dollar twelve it just kind of gained a lot of uh, value for the dollar ever since April of 2022 so that's pretty recently if you think about it if I add the S&P 500 chart on here you can see that that is right around when we started to have the entire global economy started to drop um, so they really started to look at uh, the dollar people were looking to the United States dollar um, really for value uh, so the next big question is what's what's going to happen in the future uh, from here? I don't really know. Um, you can see that if you go all the way back to 2000, uh, the worst it could possibly get for the euro is about 88 cents to the dollar. So maybe you know I can go you know maybe halfway or a little bit lower and then kind of like regain some ground. So we don't really know uh, exactly what's going on with this yet. Um, but that gives you some idea, and it probably could go back up to dollar uh, twelve as well. So and maybe even up into these levels, and then possibly like the buck thirty, thirty eight levels in here um, at the worst for the dollar. Um, so that'd be if there was like a huge catastrophe in the United States, um, maybe that could change or something like that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the euro versus the U.S. dollar. Uh, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't. Please try to subscribe and uh, tap the like button there. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to submit uh, some great videos like this on uh, big topics like the euro versus dollar to help educate people um, and uh, try to do your own financial advice and all that kind of stuff. This is just a kind of a study uh, educational review. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the study. Uh, let me know what you think comments. I'll try to comment back. Thanks a lot.